What's going on guys, Sinister Skater here, and today I have part 2 of the Call of Duty Ghost Dynamic Map Spots and Events for you guys. Yesterday I put up part 1 where we covered 7 maps, and today we're going to be covering the 8 other maps that we didn't cover in the last video. And if you didn't catch the last video, there will be a link in the description and a link on the screen right now in an annotation. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first map we're going to be taking a look at is Strike Zone, and Strike Zone has one map event that definitely it just has the biggest effect of a map in all the maps that are out right now and that is the kem strike and basically it just the kem strike goes off and completely changes the map sort of like siege of shanghai and uh, battlefield how you take down the tower and then after it's like a dusty debris zone it's kind of like that but definitely nowhere up to that scale but you go ahead and do your field orders complete them you get the random care package which will have the kem strike go ahead and launch that you got your 10 second countdown it goes off you kill everyone in the map it's kind of like a mob and then the map changes and this is what the map looks like and i personally think that the destroyed map looks or looks and kind of well not looks but it plays better than the map that it was before the standard strike zone map that's my opinion and yeah let's hop on to the next map the next map is going to be chasm this has two dynamic elements to it that don't really change gameplay too much, but they can be used as booby traps, and you can kind of troll people with them if you want to. So the first one, we got this bus right here. You can go ahead while this isn't, the second half isn't blown off. You can go in the second half of it. It's kind of like a transport area to get from this rock into the bus and then up to the next rock. Or, you know, people can go hide in it or whatever. But if you do throw any explosive at it, I throw my C4 at this. Throw it at it, blow it up, and then the whole second half of the bus will fall off the cliff and go down to the bottom of the map. And then it'll hit the bottom and there'll be a little shake on the map. And then anyone who was in that bus that the time that you blew it up will go and die. So that's kind of cool. And the second thing we have is sort of similar. We got it over here. It's this elevator. You can go ahead and shoot the top of the ropes up there. Usually it takes like a clip and then the elevator will drop down and then to completely get rid of this elevator you throw an explosive at it again i toss my c4 at it blow it up and then the elevator will come crashing down to the bottom and it won't be there and then you can't jump from that platform to the other platform across anymore you will fall to your death now the next map we're going to be taking a look at is flood flood has two flood truck floating points i guess you can call them i'm not sure exactly what to call them but they have these two areas of water where if you go down into it you will drown if you stay down there for too long you can hop your way out of it but it's pretty hard to get out of but this flood there's like this car on one side where you can jump on and then it will sink it down to the bottom it won't do anything it's just like it's not there anymore so if you try to jump on it you might drown um not really that cool in my personal opinion. And then on the opposite side of the map, we have this truck where if you lean on one side, it will stay put. But if you go to the other side, it will sink down to the bottom. And then you won't have that jump spot onto the bridge that you could do before. But then again, if you go all the way to the other end, the truck will, or the truck end that sunk will rise back up. And then you have your jump spot again. That's it for that map. The next map we have is Sovereign. This has a event that happens on it. You go ahead and get your field orders, get the care package, and then it will drop down the sabotage kill streak or whatever you want to call it dynamic event and what this does is it has an explosion go throughout the middle of the map and anyone near this explosion radius will die and then after that it's kind of like the factory is getting breached but the explosion basically causes all these smoke like filters and water pressures to go off and then the whole map turns into a smoke area for like 30 seconds to a minute the whole map will be covered in smoke and it's pretty hard to see and any noob that would like you got christmas noobs coming up or people that are just starting to get the game and starting to play the map will have no clue where they're going so you can go and take anyone out and yeah you know that's pretty much it it's pretty smoky map it looks pretty cool and that's it for that map now the third to last map we have is stonehaven stonehaven has this castle this is a freaking sniper's paradise map long lines of sight all over the place but you have this castle over here you can go ahead and shoot down the gate at the top by just shooting at it once and then the gate will fall and no one can get through that way unless they use an explosive to explode the gate like i throw my c4 right here you can explode it and then there'll be a hole and you can get right through that and that's it for that map the next two maps you know these final maps they don't really have that much but siege has this train switch you can go up here in this kind of control room you can go up the ramp or up the two barrels on the side press this button like the button you saw in the freight map that i did last video you press that button and then this train in the middle of the map will move from one end to the other end i don't know what this is they probably just wanted to throw a dynamic feature in here to do this it's pretty pointless basically you can use it for cover or a distraction 
or you can ride the back of it and that's pretty much it for this map not that much not not too much exciting stuff going on now the last map we have is stormfront all stormfront has is this elevator in the shopping mall area you press it and you can ride up just like in previous maps not that big of a deal. Oh, and then also we have the Freefall map. Now, Freefall, they were advertising this as a dynamic map. I thought it was going to be really epic and have really, like, cool explosions going on while you're falling through the map. And kind of, like, you know, you're, like, falling and gravity gets lower or whatever. But, no, it's not really that cool. You know, I like the map. The map uh, structure is really nice. It's really small. It plays well. You get a lot of kills. Action-packed. But the dynamic aspects to it isn't cool. All it does is just fall, basically, and then the map shakes, and it does that a couple times throughout a map, and that's pretty much it. So that wraps it up for the Call of Duty Ghost dynamic map spots and events. If you guys missed the first video, again, there will be a link in the description, and probably at the end of this video in the outro. That was like two videos ago, so yeah, it'll be in the outro as well, so you guys can click that and check it out. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing jump spots again, like I said, in the next week or two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, peace out.